Hello, everyone. Drunken Dan here with Ape Escape. Episode 6? Game 2. Monkeys are 10. Out of 15. So this level is a pyramid level. This level kind of is long. So it takes up most of the episode. A lot of it's long, well, partially it's long, and secondly, I get lost in the part, part, but I edit that out. Y you'll see. Sometimes I couldn't really get the stage. I apologize. So yeah, I kind of like fiddle around here, because... I couldn't remember what to do. I love that they put little hands on it now, so it's like, you can push it! Yay! Push it. As if, you know, you, you wouldn't. Actually, wait, I think the uh, ones in, uh, yeah, the ones in uh, 2 had that. So yeah, what you're supposed to do there is you put an RC car on the uh, other side. And you just it. We oh, he jumped. God, he jumps high. Well, then again, he is a monkey. That oh, wasn't too hard. Now I just gotta get myself down without killing myself. This is going to be hilarious. Hilarious, I mean, oh god, why? Huh, I didn't take fall damage. That's like I noticed three, two platformers didn't have fall damage, but 3Ds did. Like Mario, uh, the 3D Marios, I think all the 3D Marios have it. Or am I wrong on that one? I, I don't think the uh, 3D Land for 3DS had fall damage. But I'm pretty sure Galaxy did. I know, uh, 64 and Sunshine did. Fuck! So you dodge that, you joke! I wonder what I use he. There is one thing in 3 that I do like over in this game 1 and 2. When, uh, I do 3, I'll get into that. <laughs> Get into my net! Your friend too- oh god, it's doing a pig skeleton thingy. Monkey go, you jump in the water? Oh, well, he jumps in the water, I'll catch him in like two seconds. I swear I saw two. But I'm also probably losing my mind. I like that they actually put obstacles in the water now. They also use water more in this one. Ah, there's that monkey! Hey, be a jerk. Get in the net. All I want to do is net you against your will. That's so wrong! I did it badly. I probably should have done that first, but meh. Oh. There's a pit there. Fuck you too, game. I'm gonna look at that again. I... What's that? What the hell happened? Yeah, when uh, I get there again, I'm gonna look at that area, because it's weird. I don't know if it doesn't there's a pit there. Or am I losing my mind again? Probably the latter. I like how these priceless things have little coins in them. I 
I tell when I don't get chased by some asshole who's in a mummy costume like coin. Yeah, that's weird. No pit there. Fucking game. I hate jumping upstairs in these games. One of the things I don't like about the Ape Escape games is jumping upstairs. It feels a bit tedious. Ha! I got a sky flyer now. You can suck my dick. Also, I like that they made sure this time around you couldn't just use a sky flyer to skip entire obstacle courses. Now, I know there's an infinite jump in this game, but I don't know how to do it. And if I did it, I'm sure you guys would yell at me if I learned how to do it. Be like, hey! Fire platforms do be on my actual platform later. No it pertains to a certain gadget in the game. Huh. Fire. Something to put out fire. I wonder what that gadget involves. Probably gasoline. Fuck! Yeah, I don't like Pippachi's advice help. Puzzles aren't that complicated. The game I was a little kid. Well, actually, when I was a little kid, I played Apescape 1. They didn't have those little health things. You just looked at something and you're like, oh, that's what you do. So I believe I was uh, either 9 or 10 when Apescape came out. If it was 2000, then I was definitely uh, 11. <laughs> I really don't feel like looking it up. <laughs> Look at that monkey just stood there like, Bleh! fuck it. In that in that enemy, I have a feeling. See, they're uh, they're a type of bird with the body of a pineapple. Kind of a joke too with these candle uh, owls. They might be Japanese puns or something or wordplay. <laughs> Japanese actually are really big on wordplay. funny because around here you make wordplay jokes and in the United States people go, ah! Which is why I love doing puns. Man, I almost got the point there. I hate rotating platforms like this. Uh, 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 uh. I want to get all the coins. Oh god. That almost ended terribly. I almost walked right the fuck off. That would have been great for everybody who's not me. I would else be like, oh! <laughs> Well, I'd be like, God fucking! And that's pretty much my videos in a nutshell. Just die, you stupid bird! Fucking thing. Duh, I bet you there's no monkeys in here. Probably only just coins and owls. Did I just get Love Raid? What the hell? It shoots hearts! What? What? 
hearts. I was a little confused by that. Also, I like how the uh, owls have like, those old granny glasses, or like the ones that, like DD from uh, a Rugrats War. Or even that, uh, the, what's her name? The secretary from Ghostbusters. Janine? Is that her name? So, this is around time where I get kind of stupid and start wandering around, so let me do a cut. About right here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're back. Now I'm gonna do things properly this time, maybe, hopefully. Who, who knows? It's a little stupidly big. This level, I think, might be about the size of, uh, Spectre's palace. See, this is why you don't film your gameplay footage at 2 o'clock in the morning, kids. Because then you do stupid things. Man, I love the Skyflyer. It makes my life so much easier. When they made the Skyflyer, they were thinking of me. Okay, no they weren't, but I like to imagine it. I mean, if other gamers can yell and say, hey, they should make games specifically catered to my specific interests, I can at least dream that they were thinking of me, can't I? And well, that's the level. Now we'll fight the boss, and that's the end of the video. Spirit bomb. I love how every time she does that, her hair bounces slightly. All right. Not quite as much as Yellow Monkey's body, but. <laughs> so, you finally made it. I am the awfully talented white monkey of the Freaky Monkey Five. Before I get revenge, I'm going to have to borrow that baby monkey you have there. So hand him over to me right now. Uh, Fucking no Germans. Way. Oh. Ah, I like how they didn't sprite the eyelid being pulled down. In that case, you leave me no choice but to. Oh my God, Bussy Dad! Fucking Cyclops. He's right here, kid. Dr. Wiley and Cyclops. I knew they were friends. Yeah? He'll be a great source of data on humans. So say goodbye to him. Why, you? What are you doing with our Pippity? Give him back! No! I don't think so. If you want him back, you'll have to beat me first. But that won't be possible. Unless you can stop the robot Jimmy that we constructed. Why would you make a robot of an idiot? I mean, you I tricked him so by saying, look over there. Probably that... Yeah, the big fucking fuck you button, you idiot. So yeah, you, uh... Run around the arena and hit him in the back. This is the entire boss fight. Remember how I said the, uh, and after you hit him, you hit, uh, Grey Monkey. Because apparently his, uh, shield on his little hover chair is connected to the robot. I don't understand either. It's okay. Like I said, the, uh, Hula Hoop is pretty much your best weapon in this game. I don't think there's a boss fight. I don't use it in this game. I could be wrong, though. I love how, like, it, it like, just before it hits me, I zip 
really fast, so it doesn't touch me. Yeah, this boss fight's pretty easy. It's probably the easiest one in the game. That AoE attack is so small. I feel like this boss should be tougher. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. Now for nonsense. These guys don't super hoop. However, apparently I when I collided with him, I hit I hit him right in the butt. Ha! I didn't even need to. Get over here! Stupid gray monkey mad scientist, Dr. Wily. I'm gonna kick you in! Doc Cyclops in the face! Because the game would let me kick. Oh no! that? Oh no! Help me! Oh, he shot a missile that time. I didn't know he could do that. I guess that's just too fast. This Gotta go fast. Means nothing. Nothing, I tell you. All we have to do is transfer that baby monkey's data. Into the lethargy laser. Lethargy laser. Ah. <laughs> he's just making an ah noise. <laughs> the hell is he, Jontron? Ah. Yes. So yeah, that's a uh, gray monkey. I like him. He's one of my favorite ones, but then again, I just have a thing for Mad Science. Can put the chi back as fast as you can? I will, anime pose lady. But, uh, yeah, Gray. I like him a lot. He's fun. The lethargy laser. What an insidious invention. It makes people lethargic. We must stop Spectre's mischief at all costs. Otherwise, everyone will be lazy. Like me! We can't have people doing things! And I'll see you next time whenever I decide to update.